Hey guys, what's going on? Adam here at Thinny Farm Life. Today we're gonna do a little science experiment with a heater. This little propane Mr. Heater heater. We're gonna put it in the golf cart and see how warm we can keep it. Right now it's about, I think, 16 degrees outside. So we're gonna put this in the golf cart and we got the weevil cover here. We're gonna fold that down and just gonna go cruise around in the snow a little bit and hopefully not get stuck. But just see how warm we can keep the inside of this golf cart. Kind of test this heater out. And I also have a little thermometer we're going to carry around with us. So I'm going to let a little air out of the tires to hopefully give me a little more traction. Because like this thing still has got racing slicks on it. This is a Weevil, I think it's how you say it, golf cart cover. My buddies both have these for their carts and they really like them. So I picked up one as well. And they also have these heaters. I'm kind of just playing copycat. Uh, let me show you how I'm going to set this up in here for now anyway. The propane cans would fit in this cup over here. However, I have a basket up top. I have a basket up top, which kind of stops me from being able to put it there. Long term, I may build something to kind of mount it here, so it's kind of like right in the dash. But let me show you what I rigged up here. I just took a piece of four inch PVC pipe that I had laying around and put it in a bucket with some gravel around the outside of it. And that can, a propane tank, slides down in there just perfectly. So we'll use that, keep it on the floorboard to give us a little bit of a more stable base. Also, someone may say I'm crazy to be in an enclosed space with this little heater, but as you can see, there are air gaps everywhere. We're not going to have an issue with bringing fresh air in here. I'm really just curious how warm it'll stay, really kind of if we'll even see much of a pickup other than direct heat at all, but we'll see. First things first, turn this into a swamp buggy. Turn this thing on. It's pretty easy. Just got a little button on the back here. Just depress it. Hold it for a second. Let the gases build. And then... There she goes. So there you go. A little snow on the ground. Might get stuck. We'll see. Uh, right now, this is just pulling out of the garage. It says it's 54 and a half degrees in here. A couple minutes in. This little baby is cooking already, I tell you. And just to prove the temperature to you guys, it is 16 degrees right now. Also, some people may question... My judgment by taking a golf cart out in 16 degree weather, uh, but this golf cart actually has a eco battery or echo battery, whatever you want to call it, lithium, and those batteries are rated to discharge down to negative 20. They won't recharge until they're at least 32 degrees, which my garage is plenty warm, so it'll be fine to go back in there once it warms up and charge. But uh, yeah, eco battery, it's been awesome for this cart. If you're in the market for an eco battery or a lithium battery, uh, I can put a link down below to save you 50 bucks and show you where I bought mine. So we'll go out here by the pond and I'll probably try to stay in here for about, at least have this out for about a half hour or so anyway. I think by then we'll have a pretty good idea as to how well it keeps this thing warm. While we were sitting still there a minute ago, it actually rose a half a degree, but now that we're moving, kind of pushing air through here, uh, it's dropping just a bit. So I'm not going to sit here and talk the whole time. I'm just going to let some time pass and I'll come back on here. I'll give you guys an update. So about 10, 12 minutes, I'll circle back and we'll talk. 16.6 there on the snow. I'm not lying about the temperature, obviously. Uh, as far as this thing goes, obviously when you hit it on the flame, it's overclocked. This thing goes to 1,022. Up here where it says caution on the metal rim, 200 and some odd degrees. So yeah, definitely keep your hand off that. Back there on the back where you're hitting the on-off buttons, it's 75 degrees, so so only the face of this thing really gets hot, so you don't have to really worry about anywhere back here, you know, burning yourself or anything. All right, so here's a quick update for you guys. It's been over 20 minutes, and we're sitting out by the pond. The sun is beating down on the golf cart, which is helping, but again, it's 16 degrees outside. And what's mind-blowing is some of the temperature readings I'm getting in here. So I threw the thermometer up here. It says 63.1, and it's relatively close to the heater. But So you can say that's skewed, but watch this. This is nuts. So that's 35.7 on the plastic. Look when you start seeing things that can hold heat. That says 59. The ceiling is, there you go. There's a shot of the ceiling. 66, that's right above the heater. Let's go back here away from the heater. It is also 60 degrees. The windshield is, man, you're having time with this light, aren't you? The windshield is 74. The floor, it's 55 degrees. I can do this all day. I like this little thing. As you see these temperature readings, you realize that that thermometer up on the dash is actually pretty accurate. How about here in the seat next to me? 60 degrees. 
Guys, I am blown away. I think this is only like 7,000 BTUs, which, you know, you're in a small space, but look at these air gaps. This is, this is insanity. It's about ready to run me out of here. If it was 40 degrees out, this thing would run me out of here. I'm going to get out of the golf cart and go do a couple things with the pond. Um, here's our high low before we leave. 63.5, low is 53.2. We're going to leave this on the dash. So we'll have the door open twice. And we're still in the sun, but it's starting to go back behind the trees. So it'll probably drop a little bit, but we shall see. Oh! All right. Sit there and let her cook for a few minutes. Yeah, we're still pretty much in full sun, but this time of year, that sun doesn't give you that much warmth. That thing's impressive so far. All right, I just got back in the golf cart and 59.7 still up there. Not too bad. Still very toasty in here. Like, let's just take the floor here, for example. 50 degrees on the floor. And the dash windshield, I don't know if you'll see it, 66.7 ceiling, sure. In the back, so it's not direct. 51, 52. The sun was definitely helping me. But again, guys, it's 16 degrees out. You can't complain about that. And there's a lot you could do to really make this. If you just air sealed some of this, I mean, look at this. This is just wide open all down the side and down the back. Times two, both sides. And look at that gap right there. I mean, not insulated, that's for sure. I'm impressed. Didn't even really need these gloves. Man, if you're in the market and you want a golf cart heater, I would pick this one up. I'll drop a link to this thing down below. It's only like 70 bucks maybe, maybe 80. Squeaky, squeaky. And you know, most people aren't as crazy as me. They won't be out driving their golf cart when it's 16, but imagine when you want to be out in the springtime when it's, you know, 45 and sunny. Like, this thing's gonna be fantastic. These air gaps are gonna be nice to have at that point. I don't have much more else to say about this heater other than it's pretty awesome. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit that like button down below. There's always something going on out here at the farm. The backhoe sitting back here behind me needs to have the transmission rebuilt this spring so I can get back to work with it. Always something out here, man, I tell you. But in the meantime, I'm just going to cruise around and make lines in the snow in the golf cart. This little heater honestly just made this golf cart all the more fun. I have to go back to the house though and get some of those cold beverages. In addition to the link for the heater, I'll also throw a link for this golf cart cover. It's uh, built pretty well.